This video may contain sensitive subject matter or graphic imagery that some viewers may find upsetting or disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hello Internet, it is me, the E-Man, and I know, I know, I said I wasn't going to do another episode. I said the series was over after we defeated, well, quote-unquote, defeated Manika. I know, but after beating the game yesterday, I talked to Eggs, he gave me a spoiler. I know what happens when you press new game. And it doesn't take very long, and it's weird, and I'm just gonna do one more episode, okay? Just, just one more. I just need one more, man. Just one more, and I'll give it up, okay? I promise. Okay, I'm not addicted. I'm not addicted. Okay, so we press new game. So, it's completely different. Uh, I only, I, I, I went through, like, about a minute of the new day, realized it was really different, and then I decided, okay, it's only gonna take one more episode, I'll just do it off. So, it's an ordinary school day, like any other. As usual, I'm surrounded by couples and friend groups walking to school together. I always tell myself it's about time I meet some girls or something like that. Well, hi, Joshua! It's been a long time since I've gotten to do that voice. <coughs> well, there already is one girl. That girl is Sayori, my neighbor and good friend's good friend since we were children. We used to walk to get we used to walk to school together every day, and recently we've picked up that habit once again. Joshua, are you proud of me? That's where I realized that, okay, this is weird. Because that is a weird question to start the game with. Eh, for what? That was my reaction. Well, you know, for waking up on time. Well, you've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. You never seem to said you never, but you never said anything about it. Even though we walk to school together every day. Well, yeah, I always thought it was implied. Eh? It's embarrassing to say out loud. I mean, I guess kind of. Come on, please. It's good motivation. Fine, fine. I'm proud of you, Siori. This is weird. This is weird. She forces you to say that you're proud of her. That's weird. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw nearer, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Joshua, have you decided on a club to join yet? Okay, this seems, you know, normal. This is what happened the first time, right? A club? I told you already, I'm not... I'm really not... And then I cut myself off. And I start to say what I always do. That I'm not interested in joining any clubs. What I always do. But something tells me Siori would take more offense to that now. After all, how could I tell the her that clubs are a waste of time when she's starting a club of her very own? Actually, yeah. I think I've decided on a club. Really? Well, which one? Tell me! Hmm, it's the anime club. Definitely gotta be the anime club. I've been trying to go to the anime club for two dimensions now! <laughs> for two parallel universes! Please, let me go. I think I'll keep it a surprise. Boo! You meanie! Be patient. You'll find out soon enough. I used to ask myself why I let... See, I used to ask myself why I let myself get lectured by such a carefree girl. See all this, what I'd normally say, what I used to, it, like, it makes sense, assuming that that's what the character did, like, last week with her or whatever, but, like, in the context of the fact that that's what you did in an alternate reality, it, it freaks me out, man. But I started to realize that, in a way, I envy her. When Siri puts her mind to something, she can accomplish great things. Also, you seem a little too proud of Siori here. So that's why I feel like I should do something special for her. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. And that's always the same. School days are always like that. After I pack up my things, I stand up, gathering my motivation. So okay, now I can I have motivation on my own. That's a good sign, I guess. Let's see. I don't just stare at the window thinking about clubs. I recall the room number of the club from a flyer I saw. I walk across the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being generally used for third year classes and activities. So I go there on my own now. Before long, I find the room. 
I timidly open the door in front of me. Hello? Ah! Who's Oshawa? What, what are you doing here? Well, I just... Eh? Eh? I glance around the room. Huh? So you're the... No. <laughs> oh my god, what was that? It sounded like Scooby-Doo. If you just came for the cupcakes, I'd be super pissed! Okay, that's your voice. So you're the Joshua that Siori keeps is always talking about. Uh, th th thank you for stopping by. It's a pleasure to meet you, Joshua. We're the Literature Club. Shouldn't, shouldn't Siori be the one to introduce me to the Literature Club, Yuri, considering that she's the president? I mean, I, yeah, she is the president, right? I, I hope you enjoy your visit. Come on, Yuri. No need to be so formal. He's gonna think we're really strict or something. Uh, sorry, Nitsuki. The tall one, whose name is apparently Yuri, seems to be quite shy compared to the others. So it's interesting, in the other two ones, we always learn Nitsuki's name first, but in this one, we learn Yuri's name first. In comparison, the girl named Nitsuki, despite her size, seems like the assertive one. Well, it's nice to meet both of you. I look forward to working with you. W working? Joshua, don't tell me! You're... That's right. The club I've decided to join is yours, Siori. The Literature Club. Okay, this is... So, this is totally new. I'm joining on my own volition instead of, like, that whole awkward thing where it's like, I haven't decided to join yet! Haha! <laughs> and they all look at me depressed, and I'm like, Oh man, I can't depress women, because then I'll never get to see boobs. So this is new. Siori's eyes light up! No way! No way! Ah! Oh man, that voice is so fun to do. Siri wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! hey. <laughs> well, if Siri is this happy, then I'm sure it won't be so bad to have you around. Oh wow, Natsuki's actually being sort of vaguely nice to me. That I don't know how to. Th th that that's it. That's 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 the weird thing I definitely wanted to show you. That's it. Th that's it. Mm, right there. That, something's off. Natsuki sort of is vaguely being nice to me. That's weird, man. It's freaking me out. She's an alien. Not to mention that there's... Oh, wait. <clears throat> See, Lord Vader, I told you she could be reasonable. Not to mention there's four of us now. That means we can become an officially organized... Oh, officially recognized club. I don't know what to say! We have to celebrate! Uh-huh. What an appropriate day for that, isn't it? Yeah! After all, Natsuki decided to... Hey, don't ruin the surprise! <laughs> sorry. Everyone, sit down at the table, okay? How about I make some tea as well? Still, well, Yuri's still making tea, so the universe can't be that off balance. The girls have a few desks rearranged to form a table. By the way, when I stopped playing on my own and decided to record this extra episode, I made it to the point where uh, I got up with my own motivation. So this is all this has all been new for me. I have no idea what actually happens. Except for the ending. I know the ending because Eggs spoiled it for me, but whatever. Uh, that's because last episode I had, at the end, I had the, the audacity to, to say like, Oh, I bet there's all kinds of things you can do now that the game's been beaten. Yeah, you'll see. Anyway. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room where Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, I take a seat next to Siori. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table tray in hand. Okay, are we ready? Ta-da! Woo! Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. Oh good, okay, we got the cat cupcakes. The whiskers are drawn with icing, the little pieces of chocolate were used to make the ears. So cute! Wow, those look amazing. Heh, <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Siori grabs one first, then I follow. See, everyone seems happy. That's how you know something's messed up. Everyone seems happy, okay? No one in this game is happy. Everyone is in internal pain in this game. There can never be happiness. So delicious! Siori talks with her mouth full and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around in my fingers, looking for the best angle to take a bite. Again, it's very complicated math. Natsuki is quiet, and I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. 
Is he waiting for me to take a bite? And I finally bite down. <laughs> That's an accurate cupcake eating noise, by the way. You can uh, you can clip that and use it in your own uh, your own videos as foley if you want. Just give me credit, obviously. The icing is sweet and full of flavor. I wonder if she made it herself. Oh, this is really good. Thank you, that Shuki. Well, 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 of course it is. I'm a pro, after all. Yeah, she always refers to herself as a pro. Pro at what? Yeah, I guess baking. There's no need to thank me or anything. As Natsuki struggles to accept the compliment, Yuri turns to the table carrying. Oh, see, it's because she has an abusive home situation, so she can't take. She can't accept. She can't accept praise. I feel awful. I just. I feel awful. That's the point. This game makes you feel awful. If you like feeling awful, play this game. Anyway, she carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? No, oh, don't worry. The teachers give us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy a good book? Okay, this is exactly the same. Uh, uh I, I guess. Heh <laughs> already trying to impress our new member, Yuri? Oh, man, that was a little bit rough, even for Nitsuki. Oh, yeah. Heh, <laughs> already trying to impress our new beer? Oh, you know what? No, whatever. That, that, that's not... Instead, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know... Yeah, I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be the pastime for me, but at least I enjoy tea. Oh, I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. So, Joshua, what kinds of things do you like to read? Well, uh, manga? Am I going to say manga again? Considering how little I've read these past few months, I don't really have a good answer for that. Manga, yeah. I mutter quietly to myself, half-joking. Mitsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. No. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. I've already agreed to join a literature club. Obviously, that's going to change. Do I understand the premise of a literature club is to read? Honestly. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favorites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story is such a foreign... Oh, telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, clearly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid since the moment that I walked in, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Don't feel intimidated if you don't read much, okay? I'm certain we can find something that we all have in common. Hey, Yuri. Yeah? Well, about, you know, the first thing he said. Manga? Oh, this is me. Manga? Oh, wow, Natsuki's actually talking to me. Man, she has courage now. Interesting. No, oh, that's right. Natsuki tends to read manga in the club room. D d don't say that! For some reason, Natsuki seems embarrassed about it. Yeah, you should. Manga's for chumps! I, I didn't mean it. That was a joke. I read manga. I'm a chump. I have, what do I have next to my, I have volume three of the World of Warcraft manga. They made a World of Warcraft manga, by the way. Who knew? I, but apparently I have it. And I, yeah, so that's cool. Anyway. Besides, manga is literature too, you know. Okay, yeah, so she just says it and isn't angry about it. Interesting. So if Joshua wants to read some of my manga, then don't try to stop him or anything. Natsuki. I wouldn't do such a thing. However, it could also be nice for us to diversify ourselves a little. You could take this opportunity to try something new as well. Wouldn't you agree, Joshua? Well, well maybe! Sensing the tension, Siori jumps in. I mean, yeah, it was a little bit tense, but you know, com <laughs> compared to the last time that Suki and Yuri talked, that was like, that, no. <laughs> That was like holding hands in a meadow field, man. A meadow field. Meadow field! Because a meadow isn't a field unless you specify. Anyway. Well, maybe we should uh, all try something new! I think it could be fun! And we'll all get to know each other... Oh, we'll all get to know each other a little bit better, too! I mean, that's the kind of thing that literature clubs do, right? Ellipses of... Yeah, fair enough. 
I, yeah, I don't disagree or anything. Yeah. You're right as usual, president. Oh, yeah, there we go. Big reveal. Yuri's, uh, not Yuri. God, Sayori's the president. <laughs> the power consumes me. Guess that means I should try picking up a novel or something, huh? Well, that would make two of us. I wouldn't mind doing it if uh, I'm not the only one. And as for Yuri... Oh, man, we're gonna force Yuri to read manga. Eh? I... I have to read manga? Jeez. You were the one who suggested we diversify. You should be a little more open-minded. It's kind of... It's kind of hurtful. Hurtful? Yeah, I, no, I didn't realize. Ellipses of realization, I guess? I don't know. With a guilty expression, Yuri thinks to herself, I'm sorry for disrespecting your interests, Natsuki. If, if you're into it, then I'm sure it's a worthy form of literature. Are you just saying that? No. I've realized my error. So, if you're willing to consider starting a novel, then I'll offer my gratitude by offering... Uh, oh, by finding a manga to read as well. Really? I, I mean... It makes me happy that you do that for me, Yuri. You can trust me to find something that you'll really like, okay? Wow. Yuri and Itsuki being nice to each other. I don't know how to handle this, man. This is... Ah, uh, man, no, mm -mm, mm -mm, no, I'm freaking the freak out, man. Game over, man. Same here. Perhaps I'll visit the bookstore after the club meeting. Just, just you? Uh, would you like to come along with me? Um, if you don't mind. No, not at all. No, I always go alone, so. Yeah, me too. This is so cute! Siori! Oh, that's me. Siori. You shut your mouth! I'll show you some manga here, too, okay? I had to... <laughs> I had to stop and think about what voice this was. Oh, well, yes. Now I look forward to it. Natsuki and Yuri start to clean up the food. Well, that was a weird exchange. Well, I guess I... No, whatever. Anyway. It was weird considering... It was... It was weirdly blasé considering how weird the game has been. That, that's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> well, I guess the meeting's over, huh? Yeah, looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along. It's nice to see everyone getting along. Because I've seen things that you wouldn't believe. You were you were legally dead for a month, Siori. <laughs> Isn't it? I think everyone likes you too, Joshua. You think so? Well, everyone always seems to get along a little better with you around, Siori. Yeah, because I've seen things, man. Like I said, I know what happens when you're not here, Siori. Oh, Joshua! Don't say something like that! It's embarrassing! Well, whatever. I was surprised when you told me you were starting a club, but I think you're pulling it off just fine. We're gonna make it the best club ever! Is that what Manika said? Or no, that's what Siori said about... About Minika's club, I think. I don't remember. Now that you joined, every day is going to be so much fun! Hey, Joshua! And the music stopped. Okay, so! That's not a good sign. I... Okay, other than in general knowing what's about to happen, I don't actually know what is about to happen. I know that sounds contradictory, but... I, <clears throat> anyway. I really want to thank you! I mean... I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything, but the truth is, I already knew you were going to. What? <laughs> There's actually something else. I wanted to thank you for getting rid of Manika. Oh, and there it is. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's... Mm, okay. That's right. I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm president now. But I really know everything, Joshua. <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know about all the awful things that Manika did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. And you made me the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you. Yep. Mm -mm. Forever and ever. Oh. Uh, oh, F? 
O R E V E. No. No, 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 no! Okay! And, well, balls. Eh? What? What's happened? It's either what's happened or what's happening, I don't know. I won't let you hurt him. Okay! Who? It, it hurts! Ah! I'm sorry. I was wrong. Okay! I didn't, I didn't know that this happened. Um, this is not actually what Eggs told me happened, so... Um, hmm. There's no happiness here after all. Okay! Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Joshua. Oh. No, don't kill me! Don't kill me! Whatever. Okay! Goodbye, Literature Club. Okay! As you're gonna be as or as evil games are Huh. I can hear. Uh, can you hear me? What? <clears throat> what? It's me. Um, so, you know how I've been, like, practicing piano and stuff? Oh, frick. And not really any good at it yet, like, at all. But I wrote you a song, and I was kind of hoping that I could show it to you, because I worked really, really hard on it. So, Is she gonna play the theme song? I didn't know that this happened. This is what that Mo Monica ha Monica has a voice. Yeah, it's the theme song, which is a, a great piece of music, by the way. I guess that's the true ending. Have I found everybody Credits! On there we go. Okay. I never saw that piece of art because I never removed. <laughs> when you're here, everything that we do is fun for them anyway. Now, these are all when images I in the cheek. Yeah, well, my rambling at the end of what I thought was the season uh, finale was uh, completely and totally wrong. So, um, this is the true ending, everyone. And holy crap. Again, I'm blown away. Just entirely. Does my pen only write bitter words for those who are Oh, man, it looks like some steamy things happening in these photos. I never even saw these. Is it thought? If I take your is it love, if I set you free. Now, if you love something, let it go. And it'll come back to you, right? Oh, and there's the cute little... Being closed down into a dark puddle. Oh, oh man, there's us! There's actually a picture with us in it. Yeah, no, there it goes. If I can hear the sound of your Special thanks to Monika and Joshua. Hey, no problem. I'm just happy to be here, guys. Oh, wait. What's it removing now? Game menu? Holy game script? What? Made with love by Team Silvedo. You really, you guys really did make this with love. Oh, God. Chills. 
<sighs> well, if you're not going to read it, Monica, in your own voice, I will. This is my final goodbye to the Literature Club. I finally understand L the Literature Club is truly a place where no happiness can be found. To the very end, it, contain it continued to expose innocent minds to a horrific reality, a reality that our world is not designed to comprehend. I can't let any of my friends undergo that same hellish epiphany. For the time it lasted, I wanted to thank you for making all of my dreams come true, for being a friend to all of the club members, and most of all, thank you for being a part of my literature club. With everlasting love, Monica. I will give her the respect she deserves, and I will pronounce her name correctly the last time. And that's it. If I click, error. Script file is missing or corrupted. Please reinstall the game. Okay. That truly is it. Um, that, oh, you can see down here, I, I have their character files. The, the three of them were in the folder. I just made copies of them because I honestly didn't know what happened. Eggs actually told me that um, Siori killed herself again, which I guess from a certain point of view is true. Um, like, like, my great, like the great master Obi-Wan Kenobi, Eggs sort of vaguely misled me. Um, anyway, again, I'd like to thank Eggs for telling me to play this game. Um, I'm not going to have the big rambling thing I had at the end of the last episode. That's my desktop. You can all see what I was working on on January 3rd. Um, yeah. Okay. This game is free. I'd like to just remind all of you that this game is free. You can, even though you've seen me do it, there are... Okay, there isn't the grandeur of different options I thought there would be. Um, but... I mean, you can go down other people's paths instead of just Yuri. So there is other things you can see. I think there's six endings for the game. I don't know if this counted as three separate endings or if this was only one. Uh, I feel like this counted as more than one, though. Anyway, the game might be free, but I'm and you can donate to the developer on their page, I believe. I'm not absolutely sure, but I think you can. But you can also buy the soundtrack for $10 um, just to support them. And they... I. I don't normally say this, and I don't say this lightly, but as someone that, as, as a team that developed a free game, I think these people do probably deserve your money. I don't have any affiliation with them. I'm too small a YouTuber to have affiliation with anyone. But, and it's an amazing soundtrack. Like, it, yeah. And I mean, come on, a CD at, at, at well, we don't have H&M anymore, but a CD at whatever your local CD store is, is going to cost you that anyway. So, if you, if you want to give them some money, buy the soundtrack. Okay. That really is it. Um, I literally can't play the game anymore. It doesn't exist on my computer. Um, and, yeah. Wow. This game was amazing. This game was amazing. By far, one of my games of the year. It's a bit late to say it. One of my games of the year for 2017. Which is, at this, well, in recent memory now, but when you're watching this, long, long over. And, um, yeah. The series is truly over. No extra bonus episodes this time. No, none of that crap I pulled with XCOM where there was a lost episode. None of that. And, um, yeah. If you're still watching, thank you so much for watching this series. It means a lot to me. I really enjoyed making it, you know? Like, there's there's series as I do where, I mean, it's always... I, I play video games for a living, guys. It's fun. You know, it's fun. But there are, there are series that aren't as fun to make as others. And this one, man... I had a lot of fun doing this. This was pretty great. I, yeah. Uh, if you have any other games like this that you'd like to suggest, then please do. Um, I don't normally, as I've stated many times making this, I don't normally like um, visual novels, but man, this was amazing. And now I really am starting to ramble, so I will cut myself off before I waste too much of your precious time, my viewers. As always, thank you so much for watching this series i really do hope you enjoyed it and i will look forward to seeing you again in whatever i decide to play next real soon goodbye <laughs>